By royal permission, British Movie Tone News presents the first film ever taken of the Crown Jewels. Behind steel bars, secretly protected and always guarded in the Wakefield Tower of the Tower of London, the glittering emblems of majesty repose. Priceless symbols of kingship, all the regalia of coronation, the rich inheritance of royal tradition. The sword of state will be carried before the king at the coronation by a peer. It's a two-handed sword with a gold hilt. The golden mace is carried by a sergeant at arms in the coronation procession. A mace was originally a weapon used by knights, but in the ceremonial mace, a crown takes the place of the battle head, denoting the delegation of royal authority. Two golden chalices and three golden patterns may be used for holy communion at the coronation, and of outstanding interest is the ampulla, or golden eagle. It will hold the anointing oil, a small portion of which is poured out through the beak into the anointing spoon. Of the scepters, the most important is the king's royal scepter. It was made for Charles II, but in the reign of Edward VII, a part of the famous Cullinan diamond called the Star of Africa was added. The king's orb is a golden globe with a fillet of gold ornamented with gems, signifying the domination of the Christian religion over the world. This is the queen's orb, slightly smaller in size, the insignia of a queen consort. Most important and most valuable of all the royal regalia are the crowns. The imperial crown of India was made for King George V when he was crowned Emperor of India in 1912. It's adorned with 6,000 precious stones, mostly diamonds, emeralds and rubies. A magnificent emerald can be seen in the centre of the cross. The king's state crown is even more beautiful and more valuable. It's the custom for each sovereign to have their own state crown made afresh or at least modified. This one was made for Queen Victoria in 1839. It contains the Black Prince's ruby and below it a part of the Star of Africa as well as many other priceless historic jewels. A huge sapphire forms the centre of the cross. Lastly, the Crown of England, a copy of the Crown of Edward the Confessor destroyed by Cromwell. This is the crown which is used at the coronation and by ancient law is not allowed to leave the British Isles. Feast your eyes on its magnificence, for this will be placed on the head of His Majesty King George VI at that great ceremony in May when every heart in the British Empire will beat in loyalty to the throne.